trainer for today. I am the front office uh, manager, as you all know. Uh, so today will be a quick training for about 15 minutes. It may even be shorter. So I'm just going to pass out the lesson plan, and it has the objectives in it, and the tasks, and what I'll be going for, through. Um, the objective so, for today is to ensure that all of you know the safety and security measures that Taylor's International Hotel practices. And I'd just like to go through uh, the uh, safety and security measures for the guests as well as for yourselves. Alright, so um, any questions before we start? Any doubts that you need clarifying? No? Alright, so firstly I'll be talking about what you need to as a front desk agent, uh, what you need to adhere to when you do your uh, everyday service, everyday uh, SOP. So firstly, if you look at your lesson plan, you can follow it with me. And if you have any questions, raise your hand and ask me on the spot or ask me towards the end of the training. Uh, so firstly, when a guest arrives and asks you for, let's say they lost their room card and they want to uh, access their room, so if they, want to, um, if they want a new key, you should always ask them their name first and then cl um, clarify their name and then only give the room, uh, room card. Don't just straight away give them the room. All right, so that's one safety measure that we practice here at Taylor. Then the other one is you should never, in case your uh, front, desk, uh, front desk agents may go for a break, you should never leave it unattended because it can be um, and outside and mess around with the computers and the video system and so on. So that's one measure that you have to remember, never leave it unattended, especially like the cashier's box. And so the next one right. is um, communicate your position with your team. So let's say you want to go for a quick toilet break or you want to go for a quick drink of water and so on. Just tell your other front desk agents that you want to do this and then go for the break. Okay? The next one. Uh, you should check your environment, uh, environment continuously. So let's say you see something that's irregular or that doesn't happen usually every day. You should always make sure that uh, you report this to either the security department or your supervisor so that they can in turn um, talk to the security department, all right? So you should continuously keep a lookout. Uh, the next thing is you should report, like I said, report any irreg irregular irregularities to your supervisor. So let's say even if in your service uh, sequence, even in your SOP, if you find anything difficult or even if a guest is giving you any trouble, you should always make sure that you talk to your supervisor about it and get help. That's what we're here for. We're here to help you. Okay? Um, then you should always um, be cautious with money. Let's say you're handling the, uh, upon checking, you're handling the deposits, you're handling cash. You should always be cautious and never leave it around the front desk because it tends to get stolen. Because there's such big traffic flow between customer uh, guests and people going in and out of your hotel, right? So you should always make sure that you have uh, the money in a safe position, okay? Uh, all right, now in the case of a fire, I know we did a fire drill uh, training last week. So just to recap with you a quick refresher, uh, if there is a fire um, in our hotel, you have to make sure you have your rooming list with you and the outstanding deposits that the guests have to pay. And then you take that with you and then you uh, go to the assembly point, all right? So make sure you have these two things with you at all times, all right? So those papers are very important. They're anyways already printed out and kept with you in the department. So just pick it up, run to the assembly point. Okay, then any questions about safety? Nothing? Uh, yes, one question. About yes. the guest, you need request for a new key. Yes. So you can say a guest might already know a name. So do we go in more details to what we ask the guests, like the passport um, number? Yes, okay. Let's say the guest is a visitor for the, the person who is asking you for the room key is a visitor. You ask them to use the house phone and call the guest directly or put them to operator and the operator will connect them to the room. Or if it's the guest himself, you ask for the name and then check with your system and then only hand the key. Can you get anything else like the passport details or passport number? If it's the guest, no. Yeah, if no. it's the visitor, you ask them to use the house. So how can you differentiate a guest and visitor? Because usually the guest 
uh, the visitor will say, I'm here to meet Mr. Whoever. And then only you ask them to go to the house phone and call the room directly. All right? Okay. Then for the guests that are arriving in your hotel, uh, you should always have clear signage as to where they want to go. This is a safety uh, measure that you take and the security measure as well. So let's say, for example, the toilet, they should know where it is because of this uh, signage provided in our hotel. For example, let's say the public area attendants are uh, washing an area, vacuuming or whatever. They should always have a signboard that says wet or slippery floor so that the guests don't get harmed. Let's say you're replacing a tile on the floor, for example, you should always partition that area off and uh, ensure that the guests know that something is happening there. Okay, so that's a security measure that uh, Taylor's International Hotel uh, has. Right? Another is, let's say a visitor wants to come and uh, visit a uh, uh, guest, in, stay in in-house guest, you should always provide them with a badge. It can be a sticker or anything, but Taylor's, uh, Taylor's International Hotel, we have a badge. So you should always give them a badge and escort them, uh, the guest relations officer will escort them, or if everything is under control, if you have time, you can go and escort them to wherever they want to go to, all right? So that's one safety uh, measure that we go by. And another is, um, so we have safety boxes, as you know, in our front office. If, there are, if a guest wants to, um, let's say someone comes and asks, can we um, have, the laptop stored in the uh, deposit box, right? So you can't, you, unless you are informed earlier by the guest who has the secu uh, safety box uh, in, uh, with them, a uh, key with them, do not give them, do not allow them access to the security box. So make sure that you have previous information about this matter. Okay, so if you need any help, please contact your supervisor or your journey ambassador or anybody during your shift and always ask for help from your employee, uh, from your uh, colleagues and so on. So, do you have any more questions for me? One more question. Yes. Okay, uh, you were saying about the safety deposit boxes. Yes. So, do you have separate safety deposit boxes for laptops as well as the money? Uh, yes, so money is stored in the deposit box, the cashier's box that's handled by the cashier. And then the, uh, the safety boxes are usually for the guests. So there's one key for us, one key for the guests. So the guests can't open it without our key and we can't open it without the guests. Okay, it's at the back of the... Uh, I understand that you're new. I'll show, give you a tour of it after the training. Alright, any questions for you? I will okay. see you guys in our next training, which is on the 27th of November. From, uh, it will be a quick uh, training on housekeeping, safety and security procedures and uh, it will be in the same venue and if you have any questions, my details are on the lesson plan, you can email me or call me or you will see me at, during your shift. Alright, thank you and have a nice day.